Awesome. I am here at the 2023 Punta Cana event with the Legends of Pittsburgh, and I've got with me Trey Norwood, and we are prepping right now for a huge, huge competition in the mini bowling alley. And I got to tell you, I got to ask you right now, playing in the NFL, how has it prepared you for this moment today with against your other teammates as the competition in mini bowling? Um, a lot. Let's hear. So I'm a true competitor, first and foremost. So um, I walked in here with the mindset to win. Um, we'll continue to have that mindset. So I've just been getting my, my mental prepared, get my mental stay right, come in here, execute, you know what I mean? Try to bowl all strikes, 300, perfect game. Um, that's what I'm shooting for. So uh, can't wait to see. We'll see what the results are. I love that. So you've not been on a Legends of Pittsburgh event before. This is your first time, and we're only on day two. What have you loved the most so far? They, like you said, day two, and I've been loving everything about it. Um, the events are great. Uh, just the, the whole resort is great. And just being able to interact with the fans. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing for me, just being able to interact with them, do these events, um, kind of just hang out and kind of allow them to see us outside of pads and helmets, you know what I mean? Just to have that, that time to kind of kick it relax, have a great time, and enjoy this, this whole resort. So, like I said, day two, and I'm excited for each and every day. So often I hear from fans, and they think it's too good to be true or that they don't really get to see the guys. It's kind of like there's going to be like a rope, and they just are over there or up on stage. That's not at all true, right? Uh, at all. And I, and I love that part about it. I think that's the, the biggest thing for me, being able to hug the fans, you know what I mean? Give them a high five, being able to, to bowl with them, being able to go to the pool with them, um, anything they want to do, you know what I mean? Just being able to hang out with them, walk by them, say hello, good morning, how are you doing? So just having that aspect of it, um, I've been loving it. Um, like I said, can't wait for to see, see what the rest of the days hold. And I can tell you right now on day two, um, I plan on coming back next year for sure. I love hearing that. And I know the fans are going to love hearing it because I see them interacting with you and just loving life. So share with me a little bit on a more of a serious tone. You're playing in the NFL. What sacrifices did it take for you to be able to earn that spot and truly be able to rise to the highest level in the sport? Um, it, it took a lot. And I think that's a, a part of the, the process that I think every athlete, I can speak for every athlete, every stiller for sure, um, loves about the process. Um, and not just sacrifices for myself, I, I always say a huge shout out to my parents um, for the sacrifices they've been making for me since I was, you know what I mean, a little kid. Just all the sacrifices, traveling, um, going to camps. Um, but for, for myself, just putting in the extra time, uh, kind of cutting out some fun time when, we were young, when I was younger, um, just to kind of re reach my goal. So I, it's a blessing. Uh, I tell people, all, tell people that all the time. Um, it's a blessing to be where I'm at. I don't ever take it for granted, never will. I'm grateful for every day that I'm able to wake up and, and say I'm a professional athlete, let alone playing for the Steelers, you know what I mean, the best organization in the league. So um, the sacrifices are huge. Um, some that I would, I would do 10 times over again, 20 times over again if I had to. Um, so I'll cont continue to keep making sacrifices as much as I need to uh, to continue to keep thriving and, and keep going up. And we know you're spending a lot of time in practice and working towards just becoming greater and greater every day. It's just who you are. And I have seen that just in the little bit of time we've spent together today. Um, help me and the fans kind of understand and appreciate what are the other things about you? What are other hobbies and things that you love to do when you get free time, if you get free time? Um, for me, uh, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm basic or not fun, but for me, my free time consists of, like I said, when I do have free time, um, I play video games, uh, of course, uh, as many do, as many do. But probably the one that most people don't don't know about me is um, I make music. Um, I, I use it as kind of like a, a a healthy hobby, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Kind of like to release your thoughts, release to kind of you know what I mean get, get stressed and anything that, that you got on your mind or on your chest, um, get, get that off. Um, but that really, that's what consists of me, playing video games, hanging out with my friends and family, um, making music here and there, and just, you know what I mean, enjoying it. So when you say making music, are you playing instruments? And how, tell me. Actually, like actually recording, like actually in the studio recording. I cannot play an instrument. Um, I do want to learn one day, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the piano or something. My little sister can play the piano, so maybe one day learn that. But I'm actually like making music, you know what I mean, in the studio, so yeah. So what's your favorite video game? Uh, Call of Duty. 
uh, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty. Uh, that's probably what I play almost every day whenever I have time. So. so I want you now to make a prediction in today's mini bowling game. She can stop right there. <laughs> prediction um, in the most humble way, most respectful way possible. I think Trey Norwood is going to pull out the dub. Um, no matter what the score is, I think he's going to come out on top and come out with the victory. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.